during lockdown, those that were homeless in Southampton and living on the streets were given the opportunity to move into hotels and B&B accommodation as part of the government's Everyone In scheme. That scheme ended and many of those who were given accommodation have been helped to find move-on accommodation and are actively engaging with services. Several others, however, have gone back to the streets and this, along with the stay in evictions that was lifted in September, has meant that numbers of those homeless on our streets in Southampton is on the rise again and there is increased pressure on the hostels. And so this winter we're relaunching our welcome bag scheme and asking people to donate a kit list uh, in a bag that we can welcome those off the streets into hostels with to include uh, clothing, toiletries and the like. Uh, a kit list is on the screen right now. Um, we're asking that people buy new products uh, for these rather than just rooting around and giving away old things because we want to give dignity and value to those coming in off the streets to show that they're loved and welcomed. Alongside this at City Life, we have also uh, recently taken on the Church's Rent Deposit Scheme, which would have otherwise closed. One of the biggest barriers to people accessing housing and uh, therefore facing the risk of homelessness are deposits and having to pay a month's rent up front. For many this is a huge barrier uh, and prevents people from finding secure accommodation. The Rent Deposit Scheme helps to overcome this by providing uh, deposits for landlords or bonds uh, to enable people to access secure housing and avoid homelessness. City Life have also uh, taken on a franchise of a national project called Hope Into Action, uh, which is a housing project that seeks to provide temporary supported accommodation for those who are moving on from homelessness. We've already opened our first home and our housing tenants. Uh, this is our second home right here that is in the middle of renovation and furnishing, ready to take on more people. And we've got opportunities to expand. We've got churches coming on board as partners uh, and other properties that we hopefully will be able to invest in and we'd love to partner with you. For more details about Hope Into Action Southampton and how we operate and how you can get involved you can check us out on Facebook or you can visit our website southampton.hopeintoaction.org.uk. We'd love you to support us as we continue to reach out to those who are some of the most vulnerable in our city. You can give to any of the projects that have been mentioned in this video. If you'd like to give directly, details of how to do so are on the screen now. Thank you.